Good afternoon, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with Mercury Racing at the 2022 Miami International Boat Show at Sea Isle. Uh, we are on board this beautiful 46 flyer from Nortec Boats and we're, we're here with Per Michelson. Per, how are you? I'm good, and you? Very good. We, uh, we got a beautiful day here in Miami. Um, tell us about the boat we're on. Well, this is the first uh, flyer with a, with a bow seating area, okay. which is a new feature. And uh, I think it was a good success because they made before the one with the retractable roof yeah. and the cabin in the front. So this is a new version of that one. So this has been uh, well taken. People love this boat. Oh, it's it's amazing. And the colors are impeccable. Very classy. classy. And I see the, the wide weave carbon fiber all throughout the boat. Uh, tell us about this front lounge area. Well, I, the, the, the rides I've been in the boat, the women like to sit here with the bubbles, you know, yeah, of course. and have fun. <laughs> yeah. So, and also kids like to play here. Yeah. So uh, that's new. And then you can divide the groups of people in the boat, actually. So you have one group here. You can have small children in the cabin because they like it there, you know, with a little sure. gaming and stuff. And, yeah. and you have the grown-ups in the back. So yeah. it makes a new area for the boat, actually. And that's a new kind of thing we are doing. And uh, it's been quite successful. It's, uh, it's amazing. So it seems like the fit and finish has been just spot on and very uh, elegantly done. Um, do we, I assume there's storage underneath these, these lounges? Yes, there are and you are standing on a table. Oh, fantastic. So, so this table can be lifted and then uh, you can then have your little lunch in the front here. Yeah. So that's a good feature actually and it's brand new. Automatic. Yeah, automatic hydraulic. Button. Yes. Fantastic. And then grab handles for yeah, you need that, you know, this of have course. a reasonable speed, this boat, so you need to hold on if you're sitting in front. And of course, in front of the boat is the most, you know, bumpy area right. normally. Yeah. And then there's more storage up there. Is that the, yes. uh, the windlass? Exactly. Yeah. And then that's operated also at the helm with the touch of a button. Yes. Fantastic. It is. I see some big JL speakers throughout the boat. Well. And, uh, and a control unit right th there. There's a massive uh, system in this boat. I haven't seen anything like it, actually. Oh, sure. So. It sound like crazy, so uh, they've done a beautiful job in this boat. Do you know how many speakers are in this boat? I have to count, actually. <laughs> right. But there I mean, is many. There's 46 feet in this boat, so yeah. there's got to be a lot throughout the year. Uh, Probably 46 speakers then. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, Pierre, we're at this uh, amazing looking um, helm of the 46 Flyer. Tell us about it. Well, you see there's some gigantic Garmin screens here. Yeah. And I think you haven't seen many of those. So do you know what size this is? I'm not sure actually. I think they're 24 or something or no, they are more. Yeah. So you know, they are just making your job so much easier when you're out there. You yeah. know, and you can then split the screen and you have the map there and you have the engine or the speakers or whatever you want. So you yeah. can twist and swap and then it's amazing. We just went for a test ride with the, with the Mercury people and uh, they were quite amazed by these two screens. Oh, I what bet. I could do. Absolutely. And then the uh, is it bow thruster? There is a bow thruster here, you know. So uh, it came handy with this long boat yeah. and it's heavy. So it's, uh, it's very good with the bow thruster. And what then, is the weight of the boat? 22,000 pounds. Wow, fantastic. But uh, so you, you not only do you utilize the large Garmin screens that are touch screen, you also have uh, analog uh, mechanical gauge here from Laborsa Marine. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of everything, but uh, you know, something can fail and then you know you have a backup, backup system. Yeah, absolutely. So, smart thing to have. As well as the Mercury vessel view exactly. right here. Exactly, you need that one as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, then, tell us about this carbon fire fiber. It's beautiful. Yeah, you know, it's been a part of the Nordic program for as long as I can remember. You yeah. know, I was probably the first one out there with the carbon, made them themselves. Niels made them up in the fiberglass shop, you know, and yeah. then and now they start getting them in from somewhere else. And you have, it's a, it's a little bit of a new pattern and stuff, but that it's, it belongs in an Ortec, you sure. know, it belongs in an Ortec. So you said that this is the new version of the 46 flyer and the other one was the, uh, the full cabin. Yeah, what the other models does Nortec boats offer? Oh, well, they have a wide range. They just launched a 40 yesterday in the, in the exhibition center. The 400 Super Sport. Exact, boat. Exactly. And then you have the 45, which was also on the booth up there. Yes. And you have the, the fishing boats, the 39s and the 34s, you know. So there's a wide range and you have the 55, you know. Right. So there is plenty of boats. So uh, get in line. It's, it's amazing because we were speaking with Tron yesterday in the convention center and he told us that you guys have over 100 boats built this year. Yes. That's incredible. It's incredible with this. It's complicated boats. Right. With a lot of, and none of them are similar, you know. They, right. are, they are similar, but they are 
custom made, you know, yeah. almost everybody. Around. And then obviously having to cater to each different customer's tastes yes. and, and make them happy. And obviously you've got a, a, a very strong following and repeat customer base of Nortec boats. Yeah, and a lot of, you know, upholster and stuff like that are made in-house for right. most of the boats. Yeah. And now they're getting a new CNC machine up there so they can make like fancy patterns and stuff like that. So yeah. more is coming from that. So um, I think... Uh, that's always been Nortec, you know, to personalize the boat so they can have whatever they want the customer. Right. Could come with color and layout and if they want more seats, they get more seats. If they want to change, they change. You know, Neil, start with the grinder and he make it look good, you know. Yeah, uh, Tron told us that he and his brother came over and, and started to, uh, wanted to build automobiles, but then transferred into boats. Yeah, and they did. What a, and 30 years later, which you guys are celebrating. Yeah, right? so, you know, it's, uh, no, they worked with cars for quite a while and imported to Norway and to send over cars and stuff like that. And they started like that and then they had a 50, which yeah. they started with and then the rest is the story. The last year, 30 years anniversary and uh, it was a very nice uh, like party to yeah. see all the, do that history. So sure. uh, a lot of going on. It's not so easy for two Norwegians you know, to come over here and start scratch and right. make it like that. So. No, it's incredible what, what the, where the co company has gone. So uh, tell us about these seats that are behind you. Well move those you have here you can um, you can stand up and you can put them down like that very easy with some and sit there and then yeah. it's very comfortable and you can tilt the steering wheel of course so normally when you stand up you have it like that sure. you know, and that makes it more easier to handle the boat actually and this seat here this little jump seat yeah if you have a nice girlfriend you know you want her close, <laughs> close to you absolutely yeah. or right. grandma you, <laughs> right. you never know <laughs> Or a kid, yeah. but you know it's a nice uh, place to sit, you know, and then it's very protected, actually. Right. Yeah. And then very nice step pads and stairs coming down yes. that way to come back from over the over the windshield from yes. the front lounge area. Yes, it is. So yeah. it's uh, it's everything accessible. So it's I think it's a nice kind of solution. I like this better than the the one with the retractable roof or the yeah. yeah my no, dad. This this boat is amazing, and 46 feet of it is just incredible. This middle area, this is very unique. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. It is, and you have the same as uh, on the in the front uh, with a table that uh -huh. you can hydraulic lift up, and you can sit here and have your lunch. Wow. You can have one group in the front and one group here. You know. Yeah. And yeah, and you can have some bunnies on the back. I don't know, <laughs> but whatever. It's yeah. uh, there's plenty of space in this boat, and that's make it nice. It's uh, you can have a lot of people, different right. ages, and they can have their own conversations and stuff. So yeah. it's uh, it's good with all the space, I think. And amazing, you know, these these big subwoofers here, speakers throughout, yeah. up in the ceiling. What's up there? In the, uh, in it's the just connections. connections, so it's okay. easy access. access okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. So you have some nice for the fenders. You have four of these boxes that to pull out, you know. So you can have ropes and everything. Yeah, two on this side and two on the other side. So yeah. that's nice. And here you have a nice grab handle, and then you have some steps there. If you, if oh, you, that's a step. Yeah. If it's not a, not everybody has as fit as you are, you know. So <laughs> you need somebody to climb, no, and no, you have. So that's nice. Nice little feature. What is the weight capacity on, on that step, do you know? I haven't tested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, probably Tron is the, the, the one we... Big. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then retractable shade? Yes, it is. So you can pull that all the way back. Yeah. And then uh, that's a nice feature as well. How far out does that extend? Does it over the... Uh, all, all the way over this uh, back seat, yes. Let's take a look at the rear lounge. So what a wonderful uh, sunbathing area. It is. And then... Uh, these are actually to grab onto, not to open it. Okay. So to hold on when you go fast, so yeah. that whoever's sitting here has something to hold on to. Fantastic. And under here we have the generators and, and more storage for fenders and ropes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And this bench? This is actually a bench and, uh, and also under here you have uh, storage or garbage or whatever you want. So you always need some space in a boat, you know. Insulated coolers? We have coolers in the front, you know, under the seats. Okay. So uh, in the, in that uh, middle area. Sure. Uh, tell us about these uh, these louver grills here. The steel. Yeah. You know, it, it makes just the design pop up. You know, it's when beautiful. you do it's, yeah, put that polish, in. It really yeah, does stand it does. Out. So it's uh, it's the small details. We've also been with Nortec for a while. You know, sure. this, the stainless steel always comes handy, and then. They are good with the small little touch-ups, and I, I think this is a good one, you know. And they're matching giant cleats. Of course. Yeah. Of course, you need that. And a lot of cup holders. Yeah. You need a lot of cup holders in a boat like that. And also, there is plenty of outlets for charging phones. 
Okay. I that's think there's like yeah. 10 of the USBs around the boat, so yeah. that's handy. You know, you have a lot of kids, so you stay always on the phone, so you yeah. need to have possibility to charge. So this is a massive boat and with, with you know, very big and like you said, very heavy boat. Powered here by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. Um, yeah. How was the performance? How do you find the boat to run with this uh, performance package? Oh, it's it's run very solid. We went yeah. out. It, we went like 77 miles an hour wow. with this boat, and it's yeah. heavy. And then it's like it's steady as a bus and yeah. still <laughs> playful. Sure. So the, I love it. And your guys who went with me now right now, they said it, it's an amazing boat. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's fun, even with the boat is so heavy, it's fun to ride right. with, with that package in the back. You have a lot of horsepower. Sure. Um, do, you, is, do you build them with, with triples or is it, do you recommend all four to propel this boat? I guess on the white on this boat, no other than four would be wrong, I think. So yeah. uh, I haven't seen any with three. Right. So I, don't, I think they would like to have them with four. Yeah, and to, to run high 70s, that's yes. very impressive. So, um, what uh, what events does Nortec have planned for 2022? Well, they wouldn't tell me everything, you know. <laughs> but um, as uh, a part of the success, it's been all the new models and all the new sure. features coming all the time. Right. And I think there are Niels are up there in the little fiber shop and doing funny stuff. Not everybody's yeah. let in there, you know. Right. So top a lot secret. of surprises. Not not top secret, but a little bit secret, you know. But. Uh, a lot of things are coming and, and I think you should see surprises every now and then and, sure. uh, and uh, they're not done yet with the development. Yeah, well it's very impressive and this boat is um, amazing and uh, you know we would definitely love to take a ride in it later after uh, we can do uh, that. the show is over it. Fantastic. So Per, we're in the uh, mid cabin of the 46 Flyer and wow. Yeah, it's good. You can actually have a nice sleep here. We did put all the extra cushions and stuff in your tent and then Mercury booth because yeah. we needed. A, we don't want anything to fly around when we sure. go testing. So we can like make a nice double bed in here and then have a good life. And you have a the head there with a stand-up shower. Sure. And then so you got this out slide sliding access yep. door. Yeah. We have that because you want to close that when you're running because all the air coming through. Sure. So you can lock in both ends and then it's uh, good. And it's a nice play playroom for the kids actually when, yeah. you, when you're out there. For they sure. like it in here. But no, this, this door is excellent and so it uh, makes it more aerodynamic. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. And then you've got a, a full sink here. Yeah. And storage up and uh, above and below. Yeah. Yeah. And plenty of place for put ice. Oh, <laughs> because you need a lot of ice with a lot of guests, you know. Yeah. And then in here yeah we have yeah we have this um, the headroom which has a stand-up shower flushable head yeah sink good size room actually yeah for a boat like this how what do you know the uh the clearance the height clearance up there no but i can go in and i know my height it's you know wow how it's tall quite are you? good i in inches, I wouldn't know, you know, I'm yeah. a Norwegian, so I do that in centimeters, but I'm 177. Okay, that's fantastic. So there's a good good little restroom, you know, when you're going out. Yeah, the design of everything is very well thought out. I mean, you've got the wraparound here to the, the, uh, the lower step here, and then step up into the uh, the cockpit area. Yeah. It's fantastic. And it's easy access to the, to the bow area and that is also very important sure. if you have to crawl over everything it's more complicated you know for if you are a little bit if you have a problem with a leg or something like that it's much easier to go through here you know absolutely yeah now this is a wonderful cabin and all your control panels yes all the we have it there it's easy to access easy to yeah. see what's going on very so that's good. good you can see it from the when you're piloting actually yeah. beautiful cabin it is Per, thank you very much for your time thank, thank you for you. joining us my pleasure. I'm Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with uh, Mercury Racing at the 2022 Miami International Boat Show. Thank you, Pear.